Pat's two cents. What really trips me out is thinking about God's people. They will bless and praise the Lord out of one side of their mouth and out the other side of, my, of their mouth will cuss each other out. Call them all out their names. And they ain't blessing them out, they cussing them out. You know what gets me? How saints will rise up against each other and get in all these debates and all these arguments and confront each other and tell each other off and put each other in their place and, and then go around and blast it all over town how stupid they are and, and how they get on their last nerve and blah, 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 blah. And the devil come up and cast a shadow. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Oh, Lord, the de 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 there's a demon in the corner. What am I going to do? Oh, God, oh, God, help me, Lord. There's a demon. Oh, no, oh, no. It's the end of the world. What am I going to do? He's going to kill me. He's going to hurt me. What am I going to do? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. You almost need a diaper. You about to mess on yourself. You so afraid. But you got Jesus. Woo. Just bear with me for a minute, you guys. I'm 67. I'm, I'm old. And you know how old folks get grumpy. Well, I got a bone to pick with the body of Christ. I got a bone to pick with my church family. I, I don't get it. I can't wrap my head around this. Maybe you can help me understand. Check this out. I love the body of Christ, but y'all get on my last nerve. I have never seen such, such a wimpy age. I watched a movie a minute ago. And I watched another movie earlier this week. And what I see... It, you watch these Christians dealing with the enemy, with the demons of the dark side. And I'm still waiting. I'm in the middle of the movie toward the end. I'm still waiting. The dark side caused one saint to hang himself, caused another one to run off and isolate themselves with nobody around, caused another one to lose their mind. And I'm sitting up here waiting to hear somebody in the movie say, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Devil, get up out of here. And not one person. It's nowhere in the script. And I don't get that. What is it, saints? What is it, brothers and sisters, family, that makes us so forgetful of what Jesus put right? In the palm of our hand. It's not like he didn't tell us. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. What did he say? Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Well, what do we do? We see the devil coming from one direction. We turn tail and run in the other direction. What's up with that? What is happening in our churches that the saints don't know how to do spiritual warfare? What makes you more afraid of a demon than you are of God? More of, a, of an imp? Then you are of Jesus Christ. What's up with that? You boldly flash your sins and attitude in God's face, but you see a little smoke screen from the devil. He throws out a little fart or he burps, and y'all are trembling at the knees. Where is that from? That's not word. I know I'm fussing because I'm mad. That movie made me mad. And then I see so many nowadays saints fighting, battling, battling their fears. But they won't battle the enemy. They'll battle each other. But they won't battle the enemy. They'll fuss at God. But they won't battle the enemy. What is up with that? Where have the 
the church has gone wrong. It's right there in, in red and white and black and white, right there in the Bible, how we ought to take authority over the enemy. But we constantly let the enemy take authority over us. Remember this sentence. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Remember this next sentence. I command all evil to stay as far away from me as the east is from the west. I plead the blood of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to send your guardian, warring, ministering angels. What happened to our saints that they don't fight? What is up with that? What went wrong? Where did the leaders go wrong? Or is it that you're not reading your word? It's not up to the pastor to fill you with all the word. It's up to you to get it for yourself. You're a grown person. Your mother's not forking the food into your mouth when you get hungry. So why must the leader fork God's word into your spirit when you get hungry, when you feel weak, when you feel frightened? Pick up the Bible and open your eyes and read. Oh, open your mouth and pray. But take authority. Uh, it's just hard for me to believe that you're okay with that. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm going to shut up, y'all. I know I'm fussing. I know I'm wolfing. And I am mad. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, listen to this. I'm going to read that again. Verse 19 and 20. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all, not some, all the power of the enemy and nothing, not a few things, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. That's like a given. Yeah, they're subject to you. You're not subject to them unless you choose to be. That's my two cents. The word says, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. <sighs> I'm going to shut up because all I want to do is... is is pull out my husband's belt and whoop some booties up in here. I'm just so sick and tired of the devil saying, bend over and crack a smile, and the saints willingly bend over and then cry to God because it hurts. Please. I'm done. I'm done. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. And I ask also that the Lord give you courage, faith, strengthen you on the inner man in Jesus' name and fill you with the Holy Ghost so you can have some power to battle a little imp in the name of Jesus. Whew! Yeah, I'm mad. I love y'all, and I just hate seeing, it's like a, a parent seeing their daughter or their son being beaten up by their lover, and they keep going back to the lover. I'm done. I'm done, because I can fuss about this all night, and I'm not going to wear you out with that. I'm definitely not going to wear myself out.